Kid Samuel Squad back again with all the video here today, man. It's King of Packs episode 30, and man, Easter eggs hatch, the market is chalked. There's only one thing that would save this market right now, and that's the TVP. To be honest with you, we need training to go up. I mean, it's literally just rock bottom. It's torched, it's demolished. We'll see what happens on Thursday. Maybe they drop it, maybe they don't. If you guys don't know what King of the Packs is, where I rank every coin and training pack in Madden 24, kind of give you guys a better idea what you guys should be pulling and pass it up on. Every time I put a pack onto the tier list, I'm going to show some of you guys' big banger pulls that you guys submitted to me on Twitter. Post looks like this. Opens Friday. Closes Monday. Did open this last week on Saturday. Uh, it just got busy, and we didn't get to post it until later. Sometimes that happens, but generally it's always Friday through Monday. Um, and remember, whoever has the most submissions at the end of the year gets the big banger edition of Madden on me. And this is actually the last week for our submissions for the monthly. So whoever wins this week, or like wins the monthly, you're going to be getting a plaque. Um, I've been saving the plaque order until I at least get another winner. So I'll try and order those maybe in the next day or two. I'll order. I think I owe three people, including this winner from this video. So um, before we do get into all that, you guys know what I have to say. Say in every video. Make sure you guys hit the like button right now. Hit the sub button if you haven't. And also put on post notifications. Join the Notre gang. Let up the comment section and let me know down below what is your king pack that's your favorite pack, your go-to pack. Pack you're always pulling. Where do we start? Cruise. I don't touch that. Ultimate Legend, I don't touch that either. Even though I have seen people get some decent pulls from this, nobody really ever submits for the Ultimate Legend. So I, I haven't touched it. It's kind of where I stand on that. Sugar Rush Coin Pack, didn't touch that really the whole entire promo. I kind of just let it sit. This Training Pack really kind of went down in the dumps. Um, The first week that it was out, it was really nice. Um, I'll put it here. It was really nice because... You could sell cards at a way higher price. So like every time I was rolling, I was breaking even. But the second time that we had LTDs and you know the releases um, this past Thursday, the cards were not selling. They were selling for dirt cheap because everybody already ripped their egg packs. So yeah, this kind of went down the drain for me. Um, where do I want to go next? Um, this pack haven't touched, but I've seen decent stuff from it. Definitely better than these two. Um, the weekly wild card pack, but I'll leave that there. Combine pack, garbage. Genki Force Elite, that's better than the combine, but that's also garbage. Um, we'll save all these packs. Let's get into submissions for the Sugar Rushes, the Genki Force, the combine, all that stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so Sugar Rush coin pack, D1, Ian 1. Got a 95, 92, and a 91. Again, not a bad pack at all right here. I mean, he's getting himself a solid, you know, 130, 140K right there. So never can be mad about that. I think this was like a 60K. I don't think it was. No, 70K, 72K pack. Um, so not terrible at all. D1, Ian, one, your king of the Sugar Rush coin pack for the week and episode. Next pack. Combine pack. Max Arkins got a 96 Brian Arakbo. To be honest with you, I don't even remember that guy even being a master. I just, I don't remember it. The combine promo, I feel like I only remember Bo Jackson, um, Isaiah Simmons, and Quinn and Nelson. Like, I feel like everybody else I don't really remember, um, except for some of the LTDs. But W pull for a master, and D1, Ian 1, he did this. I think I let this one slide. I forget how much the combine pack was, but this was very close to not making it i went off of training and the 93 being like 30 something 92 being 20 something and then the 90 being 10 so it added up around like 60 70k so i let it slide but remember guys it has the pack has to total at least the amount of the pack you can never make a submission that's less i just forgot how much if this was 50 60 70 i don't remember so let that one slide this time but max arkins and d1 ian one you guys are king of the combine pack for the week and episode next pack Sugar Rush training right here. Scraps 11, 98 overall. Andrew Thomas finally is in packs. Took them only a week, and then they said that it was um, not supposed to be until week two. We know this. And Aaron ST715819 with a 99 Keenan Allen. You can barely, barely tell because it's kind of blurry, but I could tell a goat when I see him, man. A, a, a true Bears legend right there. And so Scraps 11 and Aaron ST715819, you guys are king of. 89 plus sugar rush training pack for the week and episode Let's see if we have another pack genki force elite how could i forget hawks nations 12 
96 and a 93 and a 90 in the same pack, dubs, and YT, 96, 90, and a few little cards on the side. But yeah, dude, the Genki Force Elite is definitely better than the Combine pack. Um, you get an extra card. I feel like I get more consistent 93s from this than the Combine. The Combine feels like 80, double 86s or an 86, 90. Like that's what I feel like every pack is from that now. Genki Force Elite does give some good stuff. You guys got masters, so W's right there. But Hawks Nation 12 and the Bomb YT. You guys are king of the Genki Force Elite pack. Full of the week and episode. I think that's all the packs. So we'll get back to the tier list. All right, yes, I think that is all the packs that we had there. Yes. So now we're into some of the decent packs. I saved the free agent pack because this is a new pack that actually got added. I really didn't even know until I was ripping the mysteries that this got added. When did I do that? Was that on Saturday? Mm, I don't remember. I think Saturday I ripped them. But this pack, I will say, I'll put it at the top of the garbage. It has potential. You guys saw, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I actually got a, a master from this. And I just like that this is not a double 86 pack, like the Super Bowl pack. The Super Bowl pack was so outdated, so terrible. This is better because you're at least getting double 88s. I know it's not much better, but double 88s, a lot of 91, 88 packs with the potential of 94s, 97s. So I definitely like this better than the Super Bowl, better than the Combine. So I'll leave that one right there. Not great, but it's better than what we had. So it's at least an upgrade. Um, this pack, I think I'm going to open up maybe on Friday. I think I'm going to do it on Friday. I'm going to leave this one in the decent. I just feel like for the value of this pack, it's a good pack. Um, it just is. And I've seen people get crazy stuff from it. So Friday, I should be opening this if nothing else comes up. I'm hoping Thursday we get maybe Ring of Honor or something like that. Rip that on Thursday, and then Friday we'll do this. And then we'll be setting ourselves up for the weekend. Um, Star Elites, I mean, it's just top tier. Pro Maxes, they, I'm going to keep them in the decent. I'll put them in front of that. I think they're. I think these two packs are obviously the most consistent and best packs in the game. Star Elites just have a slight advantage because they're just more consistent and more good pulls come out of them. Uh, Mystery is obviously in the king. And gold plus, I haven't even touched the gold plus. At this point, the way the market stands, bro, I, I'm going to put it, I don't want to disrespect it, but the way the market stands, bro, I'm just not touching this pack. I just feel like until we get TVPs, it's very tough to pull packs. It just is. Nothing's selling right now. And EA knows this. Like, there's no way that this can go on much longer because the market's beyond chalk. It's just, it is. So there's no way it can go on. If they throw the TVP in, it, it will literally save the market. And I know there'll be jerseys. I know there'll be, you know, little quick sell card or little strategies. I know this. But the thing is, guys, the market goes up when the TVP is in the game. The training will go up. It will not be 1.0 anymore. That's just that's what we need. Because 1.0 training is just not it. Um, LTDs will end up coming down, so we won't have to deal with crazy LTD prices, but master prices will go up. It's just the trade-off that we get. And I don't know, I think it will make things more interesting. That's just my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think, and let's hop into all the submissions for these packs. For any of you guys seriously watching, what do you think? Do you think we should get the TVP? Do you not think? Do you like the way the market is right now? Like, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, because that's where I stand. You guys know my opinion, and don't mind my closet. It's kind of messy. I should have closed that, but we're just not going to mind that. Um, Bolt God 6 with a 96, and also, if you guys didn't see, has a 95 on the far left side. So 95, 96 in one pack. W right there. And Delpin 84 with the 96 Bo Jackson. Now, Bows are still selling for a good bit. I think his running back might be the most expensive right now, but Bows are still going for like 240K plus. So probably one of the better 96s you can get in packs. Um, Bolt God 6 and Delpin 84. You guys are king of the Pro Max for the week and episode. Next pack. Gold plus Bolt God 6 with a banger right here. 97 Panay Pasta out of a gold plus, bro. Not bad at all. Did you get this? I'm assuming you got this probably from the mystery and you ripped it. Were you not? You probably weren't ripping gold pluses just casually, right? Let me know where you got this, what gold plus you got this from, because that's a dub right there. Bolt God 6. You are king of the gold plus for the week and episode. Next pack. 
free agent right here, Max Arkins and Hawks Nations, both with 97 Dalton Schultz. Again, I'm so fine with this pack. I'm, again, I, I think there could be better options, but I like this better than the Super Bowl. And that's all I could think of when I when I see this. That's why I keep mentioning it. So Max Arkins and Hawks Nation 12, you guys are king of the new free agent pack for the week and episode on um, next pack. And some star elites, man. Delpin 84 and Scraps 11, both with 96 overall masters. And guys, remember, I go off, you can only have two submissions in the um, king of the packs per week. And then you, I go off of value. I go off of time. There's a lot of things that I go off of. So if you have the same value as somebody else, then I go off of who submitted first. So just for any of you guys that are wondering, that's just how it goes. Um, but Delpin 84 and Scraps 11, you guys are king of the Star Elite Pack for the week and episode. Let's hit the scoreboard. Monthly, so Scraps 11 does pull off the dub by one. So I'm pretty sure I owe the bomb one delpin and scraps i'm pretty sure that's the people that i owe for the plaques so now that i have three i could probably do that order um i also got to figure out how i want it to look because i kind of want to look different than the ones that i've already sent but um good job scraps gg next king of the packs we will restart the monthly so it'll be for april may maybe we'll even push june I'm not sure. We might. Who knows? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll even go to July because at that point, Madden will be over. So maybe we'll just do a four month monthly submission. It'll almost be like almost half a year. So that, you know, gives people some time to still compete. Um, I'll figure that out in the next one. But Scraps GG right there. Um, let's hit up the yearly submissions and see where we stand right there. So Delpin is in the lead in the yearlies, beating Max by one. Scraps is right behind. I mean, dude, this is really close. I mean, the top three is very close. Aaron has been submitting. Hawks Nation has been on and off. Debom has been. Bolt God has been coming up. I mean, th dude, this is going to get close. I mean, we still have four more solid months, right? So, yeah, there's still a lot to come. So there could, there could be a shakeup. Just keep being consistent. Keep getting them good pulls. And let's head back to the tier list. So that's gonna be all man i personally think that the tvp should come this week i know not, not a lot of people like that but it's just what has to happen bro the market's chalk nothing's gonna fix this like at this point nothing's gonna fix this the way that they implemented this um the the mark how they have it so you ha you could sell a card for 100 you know and it has to be 1.0 that's just weird and that's going to mess everything up. So they have to do something to raise training. And we know what it is. We know what they got to do. We know what they got to bring out. It's an animal. It's a beast. It's a TVP. And that's what I'm hoping to see. So we'll see what happens on Thursday. There was a bunch of question marks on the schedule. I don't know if that's just a hidden promo. I don't know if that's just them being weird and that it's the TVP and they just aren't saying. We will see. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. That's going to be awesome. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the sub button, put on post notice, and I'll see you on the next video stream, man. It has been real. Peace.